Hey, 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 you guys. It is the week before Thanksgiving, and girl, um, y'all have to excuse, I have a light on top of my um, actual phone here. So how y'all doing a week before Thanksgiving? Let me tell you something, girl. Um, I have three events within seven days and three drafts in three cities, one being in, girl, this here, one being in Longview. So it is November 14th. Um, I need to make sure my anxiety medicine is on deck. Look, I will be the first one to tell you I am all for ensuring that you are medicated, especially during the holidays. It can be such a trying time for those of us who, not even if you're not busy with family stuff, if you have lost loved ones, and I know several people have lost loved ones um, in the course of just a few years, meaning less than five years, it could do something to you, to you. Um, especially this child, especially during the holidays. Let me close the door. So yes, you guys, my prayers to anyone who's lost a loved one during this time. It can be very, very, very difficult. I can only imagine. So my heart does go out to all of you guys. I think I may do a chit chat video here in a couple more days because it was a lot going on. Um, and we went to go see Black Panther movie. Let me tell you something. I'm in my feelings. I knew I wanted to avoid seeing the movie in the first place because I knew I would be upset because one thing i'm trying to avoid you guys is yelling at my child from across the house when i need for him to do something especially with a child with adhd i go directly to him like this okay baby what did that timer mean hey, Amen. what are you supposed to be doing you need to drink you need to drink the rest ah oh, hell girl I don't know how much of that was taken or not, but anyway, y'all, Thanksgiving stuff. I've been prepping. I already got all of our meat. I already know what I'm cooking. Y'all want to know what I'm cooking? Girl, it's a lot because at first my husband was like, yeah, my brothers are coming. And then it was like, no, my brothers and their families are coming. I'm like, okay. All right, you guys, we're headed out what? Oh, what are you doing? to drop JV off at school. JV goes to school. Child, I don't have my seatbelt on. And Heath, which is just 10 minutes uh -huh. away. Finger. 10 minutes away from us. Okay. Yeah, this it's time not, change. Not perfect for me looking at it. <laughs> you telling them or are you telling me? Oh, okay. You know, most of my subscribers live in um I run analyt analytics on y'all, and most of my subscribers actually live in Texas. Hey y'all, I'm in the car. It is always something, isn't it? Um, yesterday I had a meeting that ran really late. I mean, I was, it was a two hour meeting that started at four o'clock my time. I noticed throughout, you know, the day that my throat was a little like thickly. So sure enough, by 6.37, my throat was hurting. Always something y'all. And so, wake up this morning my throat is still itchy so i'm having to cancel going back to east texas for the weekend because there's no way i'm gonna be 100 percent well because it's, it's thirsty there's no way i'm gonna be 100 percent well by saturday which pisses me the f off excuse my language i didn't curse because it was an opportunity for me to see all of my family i mean extended family that i haven't seen some of them i haven't seen in like eight ten years it's always something so i've been drinking um vitamin c um i'm gonna make me some ginger tea when i get home because that's normally when it starts when you get sick your throat starts to hurt <clears throat> so and i need to be well because i'm cooking thanksgiving dinner for my husband's family you know so if i i figured you know i just canceled it i i you know called up my mama said i, I can't come down because i'm starting not to feel well and then I have stuff to do for JV school tomorrow. So that's another thing too. I want to go ahead and kick that out, do that, and then relax most of the day. Go to his school for the Thanksgiving function. I'm not going to be eating. Um, and just, you know, thankfully he has a half a day next, tomorrow. And so, yeah, that just pisses me off, y'all. Because I'm like, it's a good opportunity for me to see everyone. I had a hotel room. <laughs> I, tried, I coughed them up name dropped my sister's name and she's like well, we're not going to charge you because it was i had paid for it up front she said well, we're not going to charge you i said okay good 
it is what it is. All right, you guys, let me show you what I have going on. This is the cake. Very, very simple, y'all. This was just, look, I am so greedy. I know which cake mixes make the best to duplicate um, a pound cake. So I'm doing like a chocolate bundt cake. This is the triple chocolate bundt cake, I believe, by Duncan Hines. I like to add vanilla to it. Sometimes I like to add pudding. Chocolate cake tends to be a little bit moist, so I don't have to do all of that. Um, but then to go on top, I have the fudge. Don't do the milk chocolate. Do the fudge. I take the fudge. I melt it a little bit. And then I'm going to drizzle it all with chocolate for the babies. Um, the cornbread in here is almost done. Yeah, it actually is done. I just turned the oven off. I have a Walmart <laughs> chicken that I purchased. is in here boiling. Yeah, I have this <sighs> maripois. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm going to saute this in a stick of butter. And that's the dressing, baby. Matter of fact, I'm so greedy. I will do enough. I have enough in there to make a little pan for me and then a pan for the kids. So, yeah, that's it. And here is the cake, you guys. Like, this cake cost me $5 to make. Five or six bucks. It could feed about 20 people, 15 to 20 people. So, the children going to like it. So, yeah, that's the cake. And I'm getting tired. I need to sit down. Um, I'm going to put the dressing in the oven. Hey, you guys, it is the day before Thanksgiving, girl. Ignore this face. This is the face of last night. <laughs> um, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and what I'm doing, y'all, me being the planner, I've already had stuff planned for a while. But what I'm thinking about doing is um, the menu is massive. <laughs> I already have, let me sit down, y'all. I already have the contain the, what do you call it? My server out here. When it comes to stuff like this, I use real glass ceramic serveware. I don't know the foil paper. If that's what you're getting up, that's okay. I just want things nice. Uh, we don't eat on paper plates. I actually ordered a set of um, white dinner plates that are coming in today. Um, we use the nice stuff. So, you know, we, we, cause it's a holiday. We only do this once in a while. If this was a cookout, you know what I mean? Like coming over real quick. Yeah, paper plates, but I want them to eat on, you know, real good stuff. And so, all right, so this is a lot of the cookware I'm getting out. I have to clean. Um, I hate that I gave away so much stuff to my girlfriend, Ms. Wanda. I just don't know why. And I put some other stuff here on the table. Um, I'm going to have to clean all of this stuff, you guys. And then we have the coffee stuff because they like to drink coffee after eating. And so I'm going to go ahead and get dressed to go to... Kroger because I do not want to be fighting people for some damn greens. It's not happening. But my kitchen is fairly clean. I keep my kitchen clean. I, I, I can't. I did the floors yesterday. Um, and so, honestly, just today, I'm just going to be prepping and making sure everything is, you know, pretty much put together. Yeah, look at these pajamas I got for fall. I'm one of those. First of all, I don't know why I think I'm this huge. This is literally... This is so big, but this is okay. It's comfortable. I got these from the children's place, and I'm one of those annoying family members that likes to get matching PJs. At least for JB and I, my husband won't do it. And so these are cute, huh? I'm gonna wear these all day today. Now tomorrow's a different story. All day today. So here we are, the morning of Thanksgiving, just showing you guys some decorations and the fireplace on. Here are all the vegetables that I prepped the day before. JV helped me. I cut up all the vegetables for the dishes I was making and labeled them in Ziploc bags. Up next is a couple of plates I got from Amazon, and here is the food. Mashed potatoes, we have rice, I'm cooking some beef. And next up, I'm going to show you an assortment of different desserts. I made um, sweet potato pie, some fruit on display, and some pound cake. I use a cake mix for this pound cake, but it was very, very good. No one even really noticed because I doctored it up, child. So we have some dressing and some Cornish game hen. 
and this is what's on the actual dining room table with the beef the rice was divine mashed potatoes corn and green beans after all this child i went over to my best friend's house she lives in the neighborhood so she had tons of food too um so it was really funny i went from east africa to west africa in 24 hours it was really really um fun to be with my my friends and family so yeah this is what our thanksgiving was like for this year we just want to thank you. We just want to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey you guys, it is the day after Christmas, so you, I'm sorry, <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving, so you know what it means. It's time to put up the Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is massive. It's seven and a half feet tall, so I think it's a little too big to have over here. So we're going to, once we get it, uh, this is new for us too, once we get everything pulled out, we're going to move this tree over here, because see how we have a lot of space over here. We're gonna move it over here, and then we're gonna move this sofa table over here, and I'm gonna put my Christmas village up here. So JB had to remind me, he's like, don't you usually vlog now? I do, child, we were, t we are tired. And plus, I got on Christmas beans. Christmas. Oh, Christmas. 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 So after just two generations, at most only half of the offspring would carry the engineered gene. In a population of billions of mosquitoes.